Hey guys, Rob here. Got a little project here this evening. My lawn, my garden cart uh, tire's been flat for a year or so. And as you can see, the tire's pretty well dry rotted. But I don't use it that often, so that's why it's set so long. But uh, last time it was used, Sheila and them uh, let it go flat. They was using it to haul some sand for the pool. And uh, we're going to have to get our valve stem back up here into a position where we can uh, get it back through the tire so we're going to try and get at least one side of this tire up and off so that uh, I can get the valve stem back through the hole when we're going to put some we're going to put some slime in it and see if that'll fix it uh, see if we can get it to hold air it, it, these have tubes in them, so I may have to buy a new tube. It really needs a new tire. But like I said, don't use it that often. I probably pinched the tube right there. <laughs> Trying to not to get a hold of the tube. But if it doesn't hold air, we'll buy a new tube and fix it. But I got a few little projects that I could use the garden cart on. So we're going to see if we can get it to hold enough air to do these. The other tire was flat as well, but it wasn't, the stem wasn't gone. So we could actually do something with it. I already put slime in it. And so let's see if we can find our valve stem in here. And get it lined back up. I should have pulled the, uh, but this is completely flat. I'm not feeling the valve stem. Let's see if we can rotate it. Let's see if we can rotate it and see the valve stem. Well, that, there it is. So there is our valve step. So we've got it back through. All right. And let's get it good and centered because that is. And let's get our tire started back over here. Now this may take a little effort right here to get this back on without pinching the tube. Or I don't know if slime will repair a tube. We're going to try. And we're going to try not to pinch it as we put this back on. And we should be able to put it partly back on by hand at least. Yeah, or maybe not. I want to keep that right where it belongs. Guys, I've had a stomach virus for the last week, and I have been sick. Like, there's so many things going around here right now, it's ungodly. And stomach viruses. Macy had a few weeks, a couple weeks ago, and uh, she was she was sick. She couldn't keep nothing down. We was getting worried about her. She was like, everything she eat come back up. She was... She was a sick little girl there for about a week. It took her a, a good week to get over it. And uh, I'm going to have to get me a little something else here to work with. I don't want to lose this. So let's... Uh, let's put a clamp on this so we don't lose it. I hope that's not too big and in the way. That'll keep our stem there, not moving. That's the main thing I'm concerned about, not pinching this more. May have to get another screwdriver. This will probably be in the way, this clamp.
hope everybody had a good weekend and everybody's doing well and we're making a little headway maybe and then again maybe not <laughs> I'm gonna have to get another screwdriver Try and take two bigger bite at once and then I'm losing that bite let me grab another screwdriver this one's come out let's get it back in there to hold let me grab another screwdriver this one ain't hardly as big we'll use it to hold our bite with I'm gonna put it under his clamp so it can't come up let's get our bite back first There's probably a lot better ways to do this. If you know of any. <laughs> Take it to a tire shop, you say? That would have been the easiest, wouldn't it? Alright, we got a bike there. Let's hold that. Let's take our next screwdriver. Once we get so far, I think it'll go pretty easy. Once we get a good way. These tires are not that stiff. Now we're going. Now we're making some headway. We still got our bite right there. It's not pinching our tube. So we're just going to slowly work this around. One screwdriver over the next. And get this back on there. Then we'll slime it up. And see if it holds. I've got uh, so much to do around here. Things I've been putting off ever since I moved here. I swear, uh, the last two years of working nights has pretty well drained uh, everything in me out. And uh, it's I'm still adjusting today's shift. And uh, I'm just behind because when I was working nights, I stayed so tired all the time. I, d I really didn't want to do anything. Uh, what time I was off, all I wanted to do was sleep. And I'm too old for that, so. Even though I really like my job, and I'm enjoying what I'm doing right now. You know, the night shift thing, I don't care what you're doing, it'll get you down after a while. And I've done two years of it. All because I thought night shift would be easier. But it's not. It's easier as far as workload. Not a lot easier. There's a lot more goes on in the daytime. But uh, there we go. Now we're going to get her. Let's pull this one out. And take this last little bit over. So there we go. We got our... Our valve stem's still where it needs to be. We're going to put some slime in this thing. Let's just go ahead and do that while we're here. I got, I know we should probably stand it upright, but this is going into a tube. Let me get my slime over here. All right, I've got my slime over here, my airline, my, my pump. Let's take this valve stem out so we can get a good good amount of that slime in this it's dark outside so probably won't be filming this outside but I am going to put a good decent amount of this slime in this tire if I can get that tube go over there we go now let's just give her a good amount of slime like I said worst it can do is I have to replace the tube need a new tire too so and these are 
That's probably enough in that. So let's pull that off. We'll let our slime drain back down. Our tube there. Reinstall our valve stem. We're going to have slime in our valve stem. But we're going to put air right in it. So it will blow that slime away. This, this is so dry rotted. I don't want to put a whole lot of air in it. All right, let's get our valve stem good and tight. And this is a 30 PSI is the max. We're going to go about 15 just because these are so dry rotted. I've had this garden cart for several years, used it quite a bit. When I was at the other place for the garden and stuff. We're going to try and raise the garden this year. That's, we're going to be do, doing some gardening videos. And, and uh, things of that nature. Let's see how much we got in her. I believe I'm going to have to put a new... Uh... Alright, it's dark outside, so... Uh, compressor kicked on. Uh, but I kept... Uh, it was, it was leaking air there, and uh, I kept uh, pumping it up real tight with air and turning the tire. And I could hear it leaking out, and I could hear the stuff spittering and spattering in there as well. So uh, I kept, uh, we'd lose its air, I'd pump it back up and rotate it some more. And uh, I think it stopped leaking, so maybe we can get a little more use out of the uh, garden cart uh, before I have to put a tube in it. So when I do, I'm just going to order new tubes uh, for both sides and probably new tires. Uh, you can probably buy those cheaper, uh, just buy a set of new tires for it. But uh, anyway, I put it back on the cart and uh, kept spending it while it was on the cart to kind of distribute out the uh, slime. And uh, we'll see in the morning if it held air. If it doesn't, I'll just order some new uh, tubes. And, uh, but like I said, I got some projects we're going to be using the garden cart for, some cleanup, and uh, we're going to be uh, plowing a garden up soon, so we're going to need our garden cart this year. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Till the next video, we'll see you later.